Um, David, can you perhaps start, for anyone who isn't familiar with this wonderful and unique project, by giving us a, a little synopsis about what you do? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've trained young, historically disadvantaged children from South Africa to take photographs uh, in order to make a living at it. So we've provided them with cameras, we've used uh, the international photographer John Cole to teach them how to take photographs and we hope that we might get a wedding photographer or we might get a portrait taker out of them and in fact with the training that he's given them and their enthusiasm and innate talent they've gone on to uh, do exactly what we tried to do at the outset of the project which was to feed a family with your camera. The simplicity of the idea is is just such a it's a, such a wonderful thing. It's 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 giving it's enabling kids who in a in a in their ordinary everyday world would not have a, a chance of getting access to this kind of uh, equipment and material and and knowledge through through John uh, and uh, learning them up and and just getting them out there and, and getting instantaneous results and amazing results as well, like David was alluding to before. So. Um, it's a it's a beautiful idea, and that's uh, that's really one one thing that that appealed to me. Yeah. The principal challenge, as with anything like this, is raising the cash to do it, and that's why uh, it's people like Tristan to whom we are all enormously indebted because uh, he was one of the believers, as it says in the front of the book that we've now published about Wembley to Soweto, that in a time of austerity put their hands in their pockets and without having any clue really what the project was going to be able to do, just hearing an idea said, go on, I'll put some money into that. And um, so these guys have been amazing in the way that they've actually managed to, uh, you know, Bring, bring the money to the table for us to be able to run the projects in the first place. Um, the rewards have been uh, intangible. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, seeing the guys that we've taught in Soweto, um, not only learning about how to use cameras, but learning about each other, learning about their communities, teaching us about their communities, um, showing the world what their communities have to offer. And often in South Africa, that's thought of as guns, crime, violence. And actually, they're the most welcoming places that I've ever been into. Those townships are vibrant, they're sexy, they're dynamic. And, um, and to work with these guys and, uh, and, and allow them to record their communities uh, on camera for the world to see has just been phenomenal. The fascinating thing is that every picture does tell a story to me because I was there when most of them were taken and uh, there are pictures in Deep Sloot for example which is probably the poorest township I've ever been into I mean I've you know and I've been into most of the townships around uh, Cape Town and Johannesburg. Uh, Deep Sloot is uh, where one of our the photographer's captain, who's 17 years old, uh, lives in basically a freight container uh, that's probably the size of a freight container on the back of a, of a lorry, uh, and he lives in there with nine other family members. And um, captain's community of Deep Sloot welcomed us all so much to take photographs down there, and there is probably one of the most joyful photographs I've ever seen taken in that very community uh, of a chap on a swing, swinging high above the township. Um, uh, absolute free abandon and um, and that's a re you know I remember that being taken it was a one shot from Tapela Motsumi as well he didn't do 30 shots it was one shot it's crystal clear pin sharp testament to the photographer and testament to the community that welcomed us in to allow him to take it and um, and to get that sort of joy out of those sort of surroundings m means the world The most fantastic thing that we were able to do because of the quality of the photographs was to have an exhibition uh, and the first exhibition we had was, was in London because that's where we're based and we were very fortunate to be able with many people's generosity again the likes of Tristan to bring these photographers over three of the photographers came over it's very difficult to get passports or you know ID cards for kids who may not have parents or kids that you know so we managed to bring three of the guys over um, and they uh, went into the east end of London and taught young British kids uh, how to start taking photographs which was one of the most phenomenal things those guys are back in South Africa now and they're working as photographers they're doing what we set out to do they're feeding their family with a camera um, Tapello for example that I mentioned a second ago who took the picture of the swing uh, is now working for the United Nations he's taking pictures of the South African Parliament they've done fashion shoots they've done uh, shoots for Levi's for Vodacom they're, they're, they're 
a great team. They've all got very specific talents as photographers. Some are great photojournalists, some are fashion photographers, some are you know, the, the, the most amazing sports photographers. Captain is a great sports photographer. Um, and they, they've all done exactly what we hoped we could do, maybe with one or two of them, which is actually to you know, get them a couple of quid and um, allow them to become photographers if they want to, if they don't, using their life skills that they've learned during the course, they're actually going off into doing, I mean, Shanice is at Johannesburg University studying child, child psychology. Sia Bong is at the best school in Johannesburg at the moment, um, having been given a scholarship there. They're keeping up their photography, but they're following their studies as well. So, I don't know, it's, um, you know, basically at the end of the day, if guys like him hadn't stuck their hand in the pocket at the very beginning and said, we can do something here, because it's tough to raise money from governments and, uh, and from institutions to do this sort of thing. It's uh, it's tough old times at the moment and um, so the individuals who did come forward and say look you know let's give it a go they can rest assured that it worked you know the thing has exploded and now there are courses going to happen in you know obviously more courses down in South Africa in Guatemala in uh, Mexico in Brazil uh, in Sri Lanka we've been offered gigs over there with uh, with disadvantaged kids but importantly as well especially for tonight and money that we've raised tonight for the UK because we can now go out to the UK and we can start what we really want to do which is to do the same project with disadvantaged British youngsters against the backdrop of our Olympic Games in London in 2012 so the South African exhibition will be the catalyst for this as we display it around the country and with each of the uh, exhibitions that we take to the great cities of the, uh, of the country we will run photographic courses for young disadvantaged kids and bring some of them to London to take photographs with the backdrop of the Olympic Games and that's the dream and we seem to be able to be achieving this now because you know again it, you start very very small but it is a simple idea and, um, and it's gaining momentum it certainly is What I love is that it's so simple and it allows them to tell a story about their lives mm. through a lens and it's not an expensive thing to do but it can open a whole new world to them and again it can actually make them a living. So you know everywhere you look there are images, every single place that you see an image there has been a camera behind it. You know quite clearly now there is a camera on us and if there is a camera there there's somebody behind that camera and hopefully you're making a couple of quid. So if we can do that with those kids and give them the experience of mixing with each other, confidence building, life skills, if they go out and make a couple of quid out of photographs as well, fantastic. For anyone who wants to find out more about the project, who'd maybe like to volunteer or, or give uh, some wonderful financial support, where can they go to find out more about all of that? Well, they should come to, uh, to, to us at Wilton Pictures, which is the company that runs the whole uh, project, Wembley to Soweto, www.wiltonpictures.com, um, and there's phone numbers and there's contact details on that website, and we will answer every email that we get, any offer of support. This is self-selective. People who aren't particularly interested will not get involved. This is self-selective. It always has been from day one. The people, that, the believers get involved. He's a believer. He got involved. Lots of other people have done as well. You guys have been phenomenal at the end of the day. You know, you're coming out, giving up your time, helping us to raise, you know, awareness and spread the word. So anybody who wants to get involved, just give us a shout on that, uh, on the email address that you'll find there, uh, or just write to me at david at wiltonpictures.com and jump on board.